Hey guys, welcome back to Black, White, and the Greys. My name is Kylie and welcome to our farm. We are a little farm located in Central Oregon. We are a zone three and we happen to have a frost risk all year round. I am standing in our market garden and I'm getting ready to harvest. So we got a lot of things to harvest. I have some good news and some bad news, which this is probably after my garden tour, so you, I, which is funny because I'm filming this portion of this video before the garden tour. It's Friday morning. So Friday morning, I harvest. Friday, I put together my bouquets, get everything looking good, package everything. Tonight, I'm filming a garden tour. Tomorrow, we have our market. So everything's kind of filmed in the morning. It's pretty, it's fairly early. What time is it? I've been up since five. It is 7.55 on August 6th. The last video you saw uh, before the garden tour was filmed actually two or three weeks ago. So it's been a bit since I've been filming. We went on vacation, we had a good time. We're back, we're ready to go. We weren't on vacation for three weeks, but for a few days. And the chard is booming. My green onions are doing great. My romaine is doing good, but the deer got it. I think they're jumping our gates, which doesn't surprise me because our gates are only four feet tall, but it wasn't an issue in last year. But now I think they're smart outsmarting us. But we gotta get some carrots, we gotta get some green onions, we got lots of things to harvest. But the most important thing you wanna harvest first thing in the morning is lettuce. So we're gonna get some lettuce harvested. I have some spicy mix that the mustard is still good, but the arugula has all gone to seed. So I don't know how I'm gonna harvest that, but we'll figure it out, which doesn't surprise me. Arugula does not like heat and it's, it's been very hot summer. I am like anxious to film my garden tour because I'm really excited to show you everything, especially that little garden over there because it's wild. But let's get this lettuce harvested. Isn't it gorgeous? This is the wildfire mix from Johnny's. Beautiful, the red to green ratio is gorgeous. We do the cut, cut and come again method and that's what I'm gonna do. We got a lot of things I gotta get harvested. And I don't have any help today. Well, Trey's off today. Everybody else is on vacation. It's summertime, so what can you do? Employees gone, interns are gone, volunteers are gone. Got home yesterday, harvest today, go to market tomorrow. I'm crazy, okay but our market is only twice a month. So last month we had three Saturdays, so they skipped one. So it's been three weeks since our last market and I don't wanna not miss it. We're, we got a lot of stuff to go. I am quite nervous about my sunflowers. Actually, all my flower bouquets. I have a lot of wildflowers blooming right now, which has they've been lacking in the last week or two. But my pro cuts between my first succession and my second succession, they're not quite ready. <laughs> So I'm hoping that I have a few stragglers for my first succession and a few early ones for my second. And my branching sunflowers come through for me. Let's hope. All right, so I gotta harvest. Enough yakking at you. Better get to work. I, use, I don't have any, I just use this steak knife to harvest my lettuce. All right, so I got all my regular lettuce mix harvested. I went to go harvest the spicy and the mustard is bolted and the arugula, so that's out for this week. I got Swiss chard. It's beautiful, but it never sells. Like, maybe one bundle here and there. So I only have about two bundles worth and my green onions I got harvested. Mind you, these are all in the field, so they need cleaned up. There's a Nerf gun in my box. Swiss chard doesn't sell. My beet greens didn't sell. Kale didn't sell. Lettuce heads didn't sell. Those things. <laughs> Did not sell. Last, and that is pretty much on par for every time. I bring them, it's nice to have extra things that aren't just what people will buy, because you never know. But beets are about ready. They might be on the smaller side, but actually, this is a small guy. But we'll just, see, I like to clean up my beets so they're not disgusting. And any leaves that look like they have any damage, I rip off two, and then you get this beautiful beet. There you go. I do leave the greens on. I know some people don't. People like to eat the beet greens, so why not give them a bonus? So I'm gonna go through here. Every bushel of beets, bundle of beets I made last year, sold. So since they're basically ready, and I have a crap ton of beets, I'm gonna get them going. I'm gonna harvest 
quite a few bundles maybe like okay mind you this is a small farmers market and because I was the only vendor last time um, there is a few more vendors this year I think there's this week I think there's five of us hopefully that will help bring in more people so it's very small and I'm a small farm so when I say I'm gonna harvest quite a few I mean like 10 to 15 bundles it's not very many it's a good start and we'll see how many we can get Something got my storage carrots while we were gone on vacation and I am not pleased. Dang dear. I was telling you that I thought the beets were gonna be a baby beets. No, they are ready. Look at this guy. He's a big one. This is a good size. This is about average what I'm getting right now. They're not baby beet style. This is what I consider a baby beet. And maybe that's bigger too. I don't know. There'll be a combination of really good sized and this size. I also have some turnips over here that might be actually too big to sell. I might have enough to take a couple bundles, but the other ones, which is fine, I will can them up because they're huge and I don't know if they're pithy inside or hollow inside because they're so freaking massive. I have been, the last week we had really delicious but really crazy carrots and I thought these were gonna be just bigger crazy carrots, which some of them might be, but like, this was one of the first bundles I harvested. These are absolutely gorgeous. Like these are the sugar snack variety from Johnny's. I did the I do pelleted seed because it's easier for my so I don't have to thin. I don't thin. I use my Earthway seeder on the beet setting, I think. For the pelleted carrot seed. And I never thin them and they turn out great. I'm actually going to harvest most of my carrots tomorrow morning. They, and I need to get going on flowers. I like carrots. Well, we don't have two, we have an extra fridge in the garage, but it just with how much produce we have, it's typically never enough with the salad bags. So, and we don't have a walk-in cooler. It's nowhere near on the list of priorities. So I'm going to harvest these in the morning and they'll just go straight into the cooler and straight to market. That's what I did last time and it worked great. This actually was a selling point because a gal was like, oh, your carrots look so good, but I just bought carrots at the store. And I was like, I was like, yeah, but I bet your carrots weren't harvested this morning. And she was like, no, they weren't. There's no way. And I was like, and a bet. They didn't travel 10 minutes from the farm. <sighs> to you. <laughs> and she bought them. What's the old saying? Sell an ice to an Eskimo? That's me. <laughs> My dad's a salesman, so it kind of rubbed off. I'm actually really pleased with the yarrow. It's looking a little sparse over here. And there's still a lot of pinks though which pinks have been, I do have whites, and they've kind of been my least favorite. I love the pinks, the light pinks, the peaches, the bright fuchsias, and I have, that's what I have the most of right now, which I'm very pleased about. So with Yarrow, my boys are out doing chores. With Yarrow, I like to soak it definitely overnight, especially if you're going to a super hot farmer's market. This week, it's not too bad. It's going to be in the 80s. The week prior was in the upper 90s. So, or the week, the one before. So I like to build my bouquets tonight, let them soak and rehydrate overnight in the water at least one night and see who looks good and who looks bad. And who looks bad, I just replace, rip out and replace and go from there. That way, if harvesting the same day I have done this and because our farmer's market is later, it make, it doesn't, it's not that crazy because our market doesn't start till noon so I can get up pretty early six or seven which isn't too early get harvested make bouquets and get out the door but I don't like to be rushed and so I do it the night before and doing it the night before ensures that you have the very best flowers so if something got damaged and you didn't know and it dies in the bouquet your customers will get that bouquet so I want to do it the night before and you can definitely tell by tomorrow morning who is the problem child I need to get some buckets. I don't even know where my buckets are. Oh, I think the children robbed me. I've been robbed. That's okay. So these pro cuts, these are my, I'm gonna get my laundry buckets. They're just from old detergent. They've been cleaned out very, very well and used for many years. These are my second succession of pro cuts. As you can see, they got buds and they have some, somebody's flowering down there. So we'll harvest those. My first succession is just 
I think it just needs to get mowed down. <coughs> Mower down and get it out. patch. I'm harvesting yarrow and I thought I was done with it this year but it just keeps coming back and my the white has completely basically faded out. It's a pain in the butt to harvest by yourself. <laughs> I am out here the last time. Oh you are gorgeous. Farmer's market we had a whole ton of help. My sister interns, employee, myself obviously. We had a lot of help. So made mini hands made like the work. Today it's just me. Trey will be helping me. He's gonna help me wash pack. He's in with the kids right now. And wash and pack the lettuce, which is my least favorite chore. I hate that job. This, if you ever wonder why lettuce mix at a farmer's market is so expensive, it's because of the amount of work that goes into the lettuce mix. I'm gonna just try and multitask here and yak at you why I harvest. The sun is starting to come up full bore. The last few months have been wild here on the farm. It's been like kind of a little bit chaotic. <laughs> we have a lot going on. And right now we're ah, the calm before the crazy storm. We got it like a lull, which was really good for my mentalness. And it's just nice to have quietness on the farm. It does leave more work for me by myself. and But... It's been so pleasant. Everybody's on vacation. It's just, there's just a quietness at the farm that was always, was there before this year and is slowly going away day to day. And it's an adjustment for me. I am a introvert extrovert. So I guess they say you're an introvert if you recharge with alone time. And I have to have alone time every day. Like we homeschool. So my kids, they go to quiet time for about an hour and a half every day. They get to watch a movie. That's their TV time for the day. They go, everybody goes to their separate area and I value that time immensely. I go to my room or in the living room. I watch a show, I edit a video, I film a video and I'm just on my own. Sometimes I try and use that time because it's normally in the heat of the day. Well, it is in the heat of the day, it's in the afternoon. And it's after lunch, we go to our quiet times and we just take a rest and it's nice. So that's what it kind of feels like the, today. It's like the farm's having a bit of quiet time and we will be back up busy and hauling serious booty to get this farm in shape next weekend the lapine coupon garden tour <laughs> real rascally jamie Frazier. you get to see how um, the farm in person i mean you can see it on the camera all you want but i always feel like there's something different about coming to see it for yourself oh it is wild i will warn you that oh my gosh there's so many things I am kind of discouraged right now because I we're not gonna have enough but we're not gonna have they're not gonna go with 20 bouquets between it was just this is a huge learning and I've planted a ton of sunflowers and I thought this succession second succession was gonna be the perfect timing for that but I think with just crazy weather or whatever it is not and our third succession is about this big so my planting schedules are just off this year which is okay we'll make do you know and we'll figure it out we'll go from there and if we have to have only 10 bouquets then we only have 10 bouquets life will go on my husband was like if you only have 10 bouquets just make it up with the beets they look great people will love those so hopefully the people do I have kittens running around hopefully the people do love those beets. well it is market day i'm about ready to go out and harvest some more carrots see if i have enough flowers for one more one one more bouquet we're going with about half as many flowers as we had last week just due to a learning curve <laughs> and so i have nine bouquets currently i'd like to just make it an even 10 and i was i was doing the garden tour last night i noticed a few more that i could cut and probably get 10 bouquets out of or a, one more bouquet out of so i'm gonna go do that i'm gonna harvest my carrots and we're gonna go from there because it is market day y'all Smoke rolled in a little bit last night. I guess there's, but the sky is out. The sky is out. The blue sky is out. 
and it looks beautiful. The sun's not quite up, but it's getting there. Still, this part of the garden gets doesn't get much sun until it really starts popping. Let's go see what we can find in the garden today. All gorgeous. I was worried about, you're a little crooked, aren't you? The carrots were really crazy, but these seem to be doing quite well. They're straightening out. They're a little crooked still, but they are getting a nice long taproot and really helping, what do you call that? The soil, you know what I'm talking about? Aerate. I don't use a broad fork, one, only because of cost, basically. They're expensive. They're just, oh, something was eating that guy at the very bottom. And this one, so we'll eat those. Probably a mole or a ground squirrel or whatever the freak they're called around this joint. Whoa, beautiful. Found some things. Things I didn't know were things. They were in my wildflower mix and I had no idea what they were. And I saw Florette making bouquets with them on her Instagram yesterday. And I was like, hey, I have that growing. I thought it was a weed. <laughs> and it probably is considered a weed, but I don't care. I think it's beautiful. And I'm gonna do a sunflower bouquet. I love doing at least one of these. And I didn't do one yesterday, so. So I got a bunch of carrots, a bunch of turnips, I'm filthy. I have my shirt, my farm shirt, Dragonfly Station shirt that I'm going to put on. And I, the truck is loaded, the farm stand's loaded, and we're good to go. We do need to stop and get ice on the way. And that is it. So let's see how we're doing on time. 9.30, that's pretty good. The, we can, we have set up between they started, they open it at 10. So we leave now, we'll be there about 10, 15. Off we go. So I will try and get some footage at the market vendors there today. So I'm a little apprehensive. I can be brave or I'll sneak cell phone footage. Did you just hear that giant crash child at the door? This is my life. Murtaugh. What are you doing? He's like, look at the water dripping. <laughs>
Okay, so we are at the farmer's market. We're set up. We are early. We've got a ways till it starts. And there's a cute little mobile boutique beside us. Too. It's the cutest thing. Uh, if I don't spend all my monies, it'll be a miracle. There's so there's four of us. We have ten bouquets. I made that sunflower one, which actually is my favorite. I love the things I throw straight. He'll be back. So hopefully we sell out. We should because if we sold out last week and it was not as busy we should sold out i wish we had more flowers though it would have been really, really cool to have 20 bouquets again but we have 10 and we will go with that so we just finished the market and last market we did we had 23 bouquets we left two hours early and i had one bouquet left and i gave it to a volunteer good friend of ours this year or this today i was freaking out because we had 10 bouquets thinking it wouldn't be enough and i gave one away and one went it just was having a really bad day so I pulled it from sale so technically I sold eight bouquets vegetable sales were super low it was just a super low day I think we did a third no a quarter of what we did in sales as far as money wise goes so that was a little discouraging but I'm glad this wasn't the first market because if it was the first market I would have been super discouraged but Anyway, we're packing up. We're about ready to hook up the trailer and get out of here. But I thought I'd update you guys. And we have another market in two weeks. But next week is actually the Coupon Garden Tour. And then we'll be back at this in two weeks. So if you miss this market, come on out. And we hope to see y'all. Oh, I'm tired. It's been a long, hard day. We did not leave two hours early this time. And now it is 5.30. So we will see you guys on our next video. Be sure to, to subscribe down below. And... See you later. Hey guys, welcome back to Black, White, and Grace. Uh oh. Hey guys, welcome back to Black, White, and. <laughs> Doo -doo.